Uh, hello there, everyone. Thought I'd make a YouTube video. I'm really pushing myself to do so. I've uh, been physically ill today because uh, of uh, copious amounts of alcohol I was drinking in combination to always feeling kind of lousy anyway. Uh, well, uh, psychologically, I think I'm doing fine. Um, you know, there's some things that, uh, I, I do take them seriously, but, you know, I don't let them get me down or, you know, uh, over worry about them at all or anything like that. Uh, someone commented on my YouTube video, on one of my videos, just ran one, uh, and that only happens like once a month, really, <laughs> or like once every couple of weeks at the most. Uh, so, you know, there, when they say something, it could be, it could apply to anything. But anyway, uh, this particular YouTube user said that I look worn out. And then when I responded to his comment, uh, he didn't reply back. Um, I wouldn't say I'm worn out. Obviously, it's, you know, not quite easy being me. And, you know, being physically ill is, you know, not fun. Uh, and I had to take, you know, things into consideration, stress factors that uh, are accentuated by a physical illness. Um, however, um, there are other things too, like uh, being the type of person I am and, you know, what I've been labeled as and how society has approached me um, I definitely have to be fully aware that uh, there are things out there that I do not know anything about and they know me from and they have their own opinions I would really not I'd, oh, I'm not prepared but I I don't, there's something that could come out of left field, more than likely will, and, um, you know, I'm, I have no idea that it's even there, um, could be a wide range of things, I mean, with what limited information I have, uh, you know, there's only so much, uh, I could possibly know, it's, it's simply impossible to know any more and uh, you know there are a lot of diversionary type things that I've been observing uh, you know like made up problems and uh, things that are of you know they're being blown out of proportion and uh, people are very obsessive compulsive about making these issues you know the issues of society and things like that and what it says to me you know having my own situation and all the things that you know it's like it's almost speaking to me but obviously it speaks to everybody um, you know what is going on in the world and all that uh, we have to remember that, uh, you know, Canada's population, 30 million, that's hardly anybody on the planet. There's a lot of people on this planet, like way too many people. Uh, and, you know, uh, there's a whole bunch of problems. And, you know, I think every, every Canadian has similar kind of things going on where they are unaware that there's some cloud looming off in the distance however um you know I, I don't let any of that get me down like i don't want people going oh he's a bit mopey he you know or depressed or miserable or whatever i try not to be and i'm not most of the time like in fact i'm rarely ever you know in a depressed mood um ugh, despite certain things like how ooh, when I get a cold it like it hits me like like a sack of potatoes 
uh, I really get the full whack of it, and that's because probably all this medications I have to take, you know, it, it simply makes me, you know, uh, vulnerable to that. Um, and, you know, I do like to think there are people out there that have my best interests in mind and don't want to see me, you know, in a bad situation. Um, however, um, one thing I do know is that there are people out there that, uh, that do want to see me in this situation, at the very least, that explains why I'm still here in this situation, and furthermore, they probably want things to get worse for me, <laughs> and it's like, you fucking bunch of bastards, you fucking bunch of bastards. Uh, I mean, they're not going to get their way, and I'm kind of hoping that, you know, society, especially, you know, that gravitates around myself, maybe only on my YouTube channel or whatever, I am hoping that, you know, the elements of wherever they come from, or they're pushing out the bad stuff, and, you know, the bad people who only have malicious thoughts against me. Because uh, there most certainly are people who have malicious thoughts against me. That's not paranoia. That's observing my own situation, what's going on, and going, there has to be an explanation. And I'm, you know, and I'm making up an explanation and then saying that's what the truth is. But uh, it's, you know, I've, uh, I've figured at least that much. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, the people who actually, you know, give a damn about me uh, are, you know, pushing the people away who uh, mean me no good. Uh, because it is to some people's delight that I'm in the situation that I'm in. Because uh, evidently everything I am as a person is offensive to them. <laughs> uh, they do not like hockey, they do not like alcohol, uh, they do not like military collections, and the thing is, uh, and some of them don't like men at all, and you know, their reasoning behind who they are as people and what they think, um, you know, it's not entirely unwarranted, I mean, they're wrong about me, but, uh, their opinions on those topics and you know what they see as what a male should be i don't have to agree with them and i most certainly don't uh they probably think because they have hindsight and they have um, the ability to manufacture situations choreograph them so that uh with meticulous planning, uh, probably months before, you know, I'm even aware that such a whatever could be on its way. And, uh, you know, uh, I do work very hard. And, you know, my body lets me know that. But, um, yeah, I wouldn't say I'm worn out, though. Uh, you know, like I got plenty of fuel in the tank, but obviously I got little things that are impediments uh, that have been de deliberately given to me to make things harder. So I would actually, you know, kind of be healthy uh, if not for my limitations. Um, you know, that's not what some people want to hear. You know, we live in such a crazy society, you know, there are, like I didn't do anything to these people. I've never even heard of them before. Uh, and I think part of the problem is that there's obviously divisions on what it is society wants to do with me. Uh, and the most common one I can think of is that they want to sweep me and myself and everything I work for under the rug. And in their minds, that's them being kind. Because, uh, you know, the, the things I pursue, the things I want to go for, um, you know, I can't be giving up on my dreams. You know, I work too hard for them. And, you know, some people go, well, you know, doing the things you're doing and, you know, with what you want to do, 
that will make some people angry and it's better not to have this problem so they'll just smooth things over however uh, I disagree uh, you know it's not that I would feel unfulfilled if uh, you know none of my aspirations came true but you know it's, it's, it's one of them things that you know it's like you can't give up on your dreams uh, because if you do then that truly makes you the loser doesn't it and I'm not a loser I mean, some people could easily call me that because of uh, the, no women around. There's no women around. And as soon as there's no women around, society always calls the male that cannot get any women a loser. That's just one of them things. I'm sure I've been called a whole lot worse things than that. Uh, and you know what? I can take it. Uh, it's not a big deal. Oh, well, I mean, obviously, I want to get chicks and yes, so whatever. But I can, you know, if someone wants to insult me, they can because. Usually they're, you know, hiding who they are themselves, and they may be doing the insulting, but uh, they may be the physical representation of it uh, for somebody else, and they're actually watering down the way worse things are being said about me. Or they could be exaggerating, like, because uh, there's a few names I've been called and uh you know that's obviously you know designed to get me to overthink things and uh you know um, worry about things that uh that i don't think i should be worried about because it's got nothing to do with me however there are other insults of which uh you know that would um uh you know that hit home uh a lot harder uh, especially in regards to women because um, I mean jealousy I, I don't like the, the idea of being jealous but you know it would be quite easy uh, for me to be put in a situation like that and the logic of why people would want to do that is because other people uh, would be jealous even more so because they believe they're more in touch with their emotions and who they are as people, blah, blah, blah. And things are more offensive to them than they are to me. Uh, and this is their way of, you know, sort of sharing the emotion. Uh, because, you know, the way I look at things, you know, like with chicks, you know, sure, wouldn't mind having some chick friends. That would be nice. Um, uh, and also, uh, you know, and sometimes, you know, you gotta know, hump and dump, uh, you know, fairly common expression and you don't think twice about it, you know, as a male, I don't anyway, I don't know about other people, but I don't. And, uh, you know, some things like that are highly offensive to other people. There's so many things about me, uh, that it's like what am i supposed to do there's there isn't a right answer where someone's not going to get offended by me based on who i am and uh the political sway that i have and uh my i suppose underground popularity i mean um there's some things that i've observed and it's like there's no rational explanation as to why this is this simply isn't. Uh, I don't want to say it's wizards, but it's something. That's what it is. And, you know, um, it is going to be all right. But, you know, obviously I'm not ideally where I want to be. I wanted to work out, you know. I've been wanting to work out, like, uh, all day today and, you know, for, for the last, you know, few years. Big time workout. And, you know, I have been feeling physically up to doing it. And I really have to push and work harder. And also, I think the uh, psychiatric medication actually stunts muscle growth. I think that is also a factor. Um, but I don't know that for sure. I could be wrong. But it seems as though I should be gaining muscle. And I'm not in certain areas. And it's not for lack of trying to the best of my abilities. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. Um... So, yeah, that's something to think about as well. I got a lot of things to think about, but, uh, you know, it's the overthinking 
and the worrying that I don't want people from the outside looking in assuming that's what I'd be doing because they'd be wrong. And maybe they would be overthinking things and worrying if they were in my situation. I mean, when you've had a sore throat for seven years and there's no guarantees that you're uh, going to, uh, you know, ever get rid of the sore throat, um, you know, uh, it does have a psychological effect. I, I personally believe it is going to go away. Um, and, you know, uh, like, there are people out there who, even though they don't have any venom against me, personally, um, they also don't have the time to care that I'm in this situation. Because, you know, they, I don't know if they want to believe on the bad guy or whatever, but, uh, you know, um, there's a lot of people in a lot of shitty situations out there in the world, and it's a real damn shame. It really is. But that shouldn't have anything to do with me. Um, but some people, they like to rope people into categories and label them. That's a common occurrence. And uh, the same goes for me. And, you know, obviously, uh, well, the things I like, there you know, are people who are... Uh, assholes uh in those particular regards uh they're not like me at all and you know we may have similar interests but you know if there's some people out there they're assholes and you know that's the way they are it doesn't matter if they have similar activities that they enjoy doing uh as i do uh that doesn't mean that we're you know that doesn't make them my friends or anything like that necessarily um because uh you know these are just aspects of my personality and, uh, you know, um, ooh, yeah, would be nice not to feel physically ill. That, that would be nice. That would take a huge, uh, burden off of my shoulders. And, you know, you watch some of those things. I believe the YouTube channel is called Infographics, where a guy spent 43 years or something like that in, in, uh, you know, uh, isolation and it's like uh, no one can do that and not get a little get a little funny in the head i don't i don't know about this specific person i don't even think i watched that infographics uh video but uh or is it even infographics it's something like that anyway or the infographics channel i, I don't know um Yeah, uh, a lot of unanswered questions, and that's what, you know, it, it's annoying, it's, it's, it's friggin' annoying, uh, that I have to, you know, go about doing this, making this YouTube channel, I can't even make it the way I want to, because, uh, you know, I, I'm stuck in a funk with, uh, you know, the same nagging problems over and over again, and it's like, how do I get past these problems and solve them? I like solving problems. I don't like them festering. I like solving problems. Uh, if I can. And, uh, you know. It's, it's a big, long, complicated thing. And uh, there's so many X factors. There's so many. And... Uh, you know, um, part of somebody accusing me of being worn out is, uh, I know what they're really saying. Uh, they're saying, oh, he's lost the zest for, uh, for life and all this. And, you know, then they can start hurling you with other, uh, words, which are real things for people, but towards me, they would be insulting. If like somebody turned around and called me depressed, I would say that's, an insulting thing to say to me because nothing good will come of it uh, and simply enables them to be bigger assholes about it and people are always looking for excuses to be assholes towards me and you know I do have to be cognizant of that fact and uh, you know I'm so nonchalant about so many things 
And like I said, it's not because I don't take them seriously. It's because I don't let them bother me and I let myself be me. And in doing so, this is called living life. Um, so, you know, some people would go, you know, they become total shut in, reclusive, wouldn't let anyone know about their personality or anything like that because of the fear of the unknown. For me, it's an adventure. That's what I, the way I look at it. And, uh, you know, I, I need all my, uh, physical, uh, characteristics to be working at optimal 100% capability. And not to overdo anything, but, uh, you know, something's coming. I know that for sure. Some, some, something out of left field. I have, don't even know what it is. And uh, sometimes it's easy to, you know, kind of pick an image of something and, you know, uh, go along with that. And it may not be accurate at all. You could be deluding yourself into thinking something was something when it really wasn't or you could be spot on you know it's all these questions and what ifs and you know possibilities and probabilities and uh, you know, all that sort of stuff it's all um, you know so many so many unanswered questions as I said and uh, you know I think psychologically I'm ready for whatever it is they got you know got waiting for me um, however, uh, I guess we're gonna have to find out, won't we? Uh, uh, nobody said life was easy, and I wouldn't want it to be either, because, uh, then it would be boring. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I wish they'd cut me some slack in some ways. I can't believe how strict everything is. And there's, it's not that the zaps your will to resist or anything like that it would for a weaker person but not me like uh i, I hear the message the monotone message that i keep hearing you know uh, from society and it's like you can keep saying that but that doesn't mean i have to believe you uh you know and uh it wouldn't be healthy, in my opinion, to go along with what mainstream society says a person should be. And if you're picked as a, you know, a, a public figure of whatever sorts, uh, doing a job uh, for society, um, you really still got to leave your stamp saying who you are as a person and uh, if people... I mean, perhaps look up to you, uh, don't like exactly what they're seeing because they want you to be someone else. Uh, you can't compromise that for them. I mean, obviously, as I've said before, like if people could explain to me how I could be doing things better or that in a convincing manner, I'm, I'm willing to change my opinions on some things. But, uh, you know, there's some things that, you know, I'm at least going to put a resistance up uh, as far as debate goes. And, um, I don't know. The moral of the story is that, uh, you know, life's hard and it's not that you'd want an easy life, but, uh, you don't want one that's way too hard. <laughs> Oh, and am I ever concerned, uh, you know, when a chick finally does, finally does show up, what if they're like a brick wall and, like, there are aspects about their personality that they never own up to and, like, I never get, like, it's an impenetrable wall, part of their psychological makeup, and they never own up to the truth or I never even think to ask them. Uh, what it could be that they are that I might not like as a person. Um, and then there are other th people I go, no, nah, a few months of, you know, knowing them and I'll be able to figure them out pretty good. Uh, that's if they talk or do anything or act like a human being around me. Um, yeah. Well, I've uh, talked about a few things in this video. 
and you know I'm I think it might be a curse to be always thinking, but uh, that's what I do. I do a lot of thinking. And I could see someone looking from the outside in going, whoa, is he, you know, is he swerving off the path to, off the path from mental wellness or whatever. And, you know, you throw X factors like alcohol, uh, that sort of stuff. And given the system and how it, they operated. Um, it happens to a lot of people, but it won't happen to me. Um, simply because uh, a, I'm strong-willed. Uh, I've got a solid personality, in my opinion, and I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fail because that's that's what people who I really don't like would like me to do, and it's like. No, that's not the only reason I don't want to fail, but that is also a reason I don't want to fail, is because I don't want to give them the satisfaction. Uh, that's, and you know, some people go, well, isn't that encouraging you not to fail? No, it isn't. It's a factor, but it's not encouraging me not to <laughs> fail. Uh... And, you know, I, do, I find it funny, you know, in the reverse situation that they're expecting me to fail. And, you know, obviously, I do have some modicum of freedom, uh, even though if it's not from the sore neck. Uh, but, uh, you know, obviously, they've set strict rules, and I don't necessarily have to obey those rules. Like, they didn't want me to drink alcohol at all. They wanted me, you know, banish alcohol from my life for, for uh, you know... Uh, what they're doing um, and you know obviously I still drink alcohol so that you know that is having a freedom and um, you know they don't talk to me every day but uh, in a way they do actually uh, but in you know kind of a deniable uh, like I don't know what you're talking about sort of way and they do this because they want to observe I guess my uh, intellectual growth or whatever and uh, you know taking up to YouTube taking that chance of uh, being ridiculed or being factually wrong about something are things I've you know known about for a long time and you know they don't bother me because uh, I, don't, I don't look at it that way And, uh, yeah, so I guess that's all I got to say right now. It is getting late, and another factor of when I feel physically ill, and this is because of the medication, uh, is that uh, the, psych the psychiatric medication is if I don't get enough sleep, it somehow makes me feel even sicker. I don't know why, it simply does. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things that I'd like an answer to, but I won't be getting one anytime soon. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get some sleep. Uh, got a big day tomorrow. A lot of work to do. Uh, I still got to clean up my shrubbery. Uh, it's sitting in a big pile in the back of my, in my garage. No, not my garage, my backyard. And, uh, you know, that's work that needs to be done. I, I can't be making up excuses for not getting jobs like that done. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope you people have a good night. And if you're pissed off because you just don't like me, then, uh, you know, I, you know what, what do you think I would say? Normally I say, fuck you. And that's what I'll say. Anyway. Well, so, all that aside, talk to people later. And, uh, yeah. See ya.